So, imagine if you could get jeans or casual clothing that not only looked good, but gave you even better slide protection than some of your top of the range Gore-Tex kit. <clears throat> Rocker. That is why I'm here at Roadskin to find out a little bit more. Let's go. Ian, how you doing man? Very well. Right folks, I'm here at Roadskin. This is Ian and he's going to chat to me about their awesome kit. Right, Ian, my issues previously, which isn't really a hoodie related, is with the jeans. I've been sent jeans in the past and they've been so tight with the skinny fit that my big chunky fat rugby playing legs, I could never get in them. You guys do a more relaxed fit, or you're gonna do a relaxed fit, is that yeah, right? Yeah, we do a relaxed fit jean now, specifically for the reasons you're saying. Beautiful. But we have to be a bit careful, Bruce, because at the end of the day, it also, also for me, it's about safety as much as anything else, obviously. It's not just looking cool. Mm. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but basically, the issue is if you're a two baggy jean, then obviously when you have an accident, even though everyone thinks you slide down the road, you have in quotes, slide times, etc., you're rolling. You know, most of the time you roll and you crash. So what can happen is if your jeans are busy, uh, baggy, like big cargo pants and stuff, then when the armor's round your knee, as you've hit and you roll, the armor can come out of place. Mm -hmm. And then next time you hit, there's no armor there at all. So you have to be a little bit careful. So we can't just go really baggy jeans, right. because effectively they won't work. You know, the armor won't be in the right place. That's quite an important thing, that, folks. So I think what we're going to do is Ian's going to come on the Brewtime podcast and we'll have a much more detailed chat about all of that because that's stuff I'd never really um, considered before. But it kind of makes sense now. But anyway, let's get back to the hoodie. Right then, Ian, the new hoodie. Tell me a little bit about it. So the hoodie itself is made of uh, so material, Max Point material, so material, trademarked to us, which is great. Mm -hmm. It is actually abrasion resistant, so it's double A rated. It's also stab proof, slash proof. And waterproof. So you can wear it in South London. <laughs> it's got a removable hoodie on it, gotcha. which is great. Although, to be honest, on my Ducati, I find that it doesn't really flap around. It depends on the bike you've got okay. and the old airflow around it. And uh, on the um, cuffs here, we put that head cuff thumb cuffs, you put your thumb through there. The reason for that is obviously if you have an accident, it stops it driving up. Okay, so it keeps that nice. skin uh, yeah. slide resistance. Yes, yeah, it keeps the abrasion resistant there, so it stops it sliding up. The other plus point is, of course, it stops it blowing up like a big balloon as well, gotcha. which is great. On the inside, you've got a waterproof liner. Is that, so the waterproof liner is actually underneath the waterproof Waterproof liner. liner? It's not meant to be a waterproof jacket. You know, even if you're caught in the shower, it's fine. The waterproof liner ultimately will keep you dry, full stop in the game but the outer shell eventually will get wet. So that'll get saturated. Yeah, that'll get saturated, so. just get a heavy, heavy old jacket, you know, gotcha. a heavy soggy jacket, take a couple of days to dry out. So this is meant for what, just casual riding, if you're going into the town, if you went to the pub, or, I mean, this in itself, is this, could you wear this instead of like a leather jacket? Yeah, no, I think for me, is, I think people often ask me about how protective this and that. I think you've got to be realistic about it. If I'm doing a track dead brands hatch, I'll put my one piece of holding this leathers in gotcha. yeah. I'm not doing a hoodie in a pair of a pair of road skin jeans. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. But if I'm going down to the going out to the pub, going down to the coast summertime or going out to London or going to brands to watch a race. Mm -hmm. It's it's windproof although having said that in the summertime you can sort of feel the air flowing round. Okay. So it's nice. It's a good I'd say it's not really winter jacket, it's a summer jacket, autumn springtime is great and if you're unfortunate enough to slide down the road absolutely save skin. If I was going to like Spain in the yeah. summer, so yeah. bearing in mind it could be 30 odd degrees, would I get away with wearing this? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So I was down, I, mean, I went down to Milan. He lives a different life. <laughs> 40 degrees, traffic non stop in Milan. Jeez, you can understand what I wear slippers and I mean flip yeah. flops and shorts yeah, yeah, yeah. and t shirts, whereas for me, if I fall off, I'm a bit more cautious than that. Perfect. And even yeah. makes it look good to go out at night time. You've got to know. You've you got know. your work cut out for you there. <laughs> right, going to try one on. I'm going to do my fashion modelling bit. So I think you're going to be. Uh... <laughs> oh, you trip on yourself. Thank you. Okay, so we may as well cover sizing then. I am about a 50, 52 inch chest, I think. Yeah, probably the same around the middle, actually. So, so this is 3XL. And then we've got one size larger than that as well for the more chunky guys. So we've got armour in the elbows, armour in the shoulders, and in the back there as well. Armour at the back there as well. Beautiful. So, I mean, effectively, would I need anything else on underneath this? No. 
I could literally just chuck this over my t-shirt. When I wear, honestly, when, I, when I'm riding, I wear a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah. I wear that, and I'm happy. I saw when you were putting it on, this has got a little belt thing in yeah, the back. Yeah, it's got a belt loop in the back there, so if you want to, you can just tack it into your jeans, because normally you wouldn't be wearing right, your exactly. hands like guys, have you? Hopefully both some jeans on. I start I start showing my tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just put it through the belt back there again, it just stops you riding up in the event of an accident. And what what are these going for? What's the retail on these? Uh one So we can do a deal. <laughs> right, awesome. I look forward to uh, trying it out. No, well, don't try it. <laughs> Wear it, don't test it. I don't intend to, but you never know. You never know. Get that email out to you and I'll speak to you later. Beautiful, lovely. Cheers, Bruce. Cheers, Cheers out. See you later. Ta da. Right then folks, we're going to try and see what this is like on the bike now. I'm going to head home. Alright, just going to try and get the old rocker into the top box. There we go, Bosch, job done. Alright, get the gloves on. Okay, gloves fit nicely over that. I like these things. It stops the old lining coming up, but also, as Ian was saying, it stops the sleeve riding up your, your arm in the event of you coming off. Good idea. And you can see there, if you have a look, the seam here, the, you know, how far back you can pull this top layer. It's quite far back here, so even if you had gauntlet gloves, you know, you're going to be able to put your gauntlet gloves on there, and then, mm, would that go over? I don't know, I've got some gauntlet gloves at home, we can try that and see. But that is us. Let's hit the road. Cheers in, ta So, how does it look folks? Do I look young and trendy? Has it taken 20 years off me? <laughs> Don't worry about this, this is the new Innov H5 helmet camera. I'm just doing a bit of testing on that. The review vid for that is probably out already. If not, have a look on the channel, it will be there. So, what's this like out on the bike then? I'll tell you what, it wasn't warm in the shop at all. You know sometimes when you wear uh, jackets that are um, waterproof, rainproof, weatherproof, that sort of stuff, they're really hot and not breathable. So I was thinking, oh, I wonder what this is going to be like. That's why I asked, what do you think that would this would be like in Spain, you know, in the summer when it's 30, 40 degrees? And Ian was saying that he's already worn one all the way down into Italy on a road trip, and it was fine. Now bear in mind, I have the Helite air vest on here, which does restrict airflow. I've definitely noticed that before. I can still feel the air moving through here, but I'm not cold. Well, I mean, it's 15 degrees, all right. I'm doing 40 odd mile an hour, but I'm not feeling chilly. I've just got a t-shirt on underneath this. It's gonna be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying this out. I definitely am a kit person in terms of I'd rather be safe than look good because I'm a fat old man anyway, so you know, you've got your work cut out to make me look good in kit but if I can have some good looking kit, which this undeniably is but it's actually also doing the job in terms of your uh, slide resistance then why wouldn't you? 140 quid as well, okay, it's 140 quid, you know, it's not an insignificant amount of money, but in terms of motorcycle protective wear, that's not bad at all. My rucker jacket, the jacket, is over a thousand pounds, the Navala jacket. Nationals! Right folks, I hope that's not come across as a big sale. It's not that, I'm not being paid at all. I'm not sponsored by them, nothing like that. They have given me the hoodie for nothing to test out, but they want me to give my open and honest feedback on it. And as you know, if you follow the channel and if you've watched my vids for some time, open and honest is something I definitely am. Some would say blunt, <laughs> but I will give you warts and all my feedback on this. Right, hope you've enjoyed this one folks, keep doing your thing, get on out there whenever you can, look after those that you love, but most importantly, most importantly, live your life. Woo-ha!